A grand jury will soon hear evidence regarding that brutal assault of two NYPD officers by a group of migrants near Times Square. Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg says he's preparing to present charges in front of a grand jury tomorrow. Bragg has been facing growing criticism for allowing the suspects to be released without bail. So far, six men have been charged with felonies. Only one is being held in Rikers. Four of the suspects are believed to have fled the state. They're on the lam somewhere. Joining us this morning, NYPD Chief of Patrol, John Shell. Nice to have you back. Good morning. Nice to be here. So let me ask you. What are the chances of you finding those four people who took off on a bus with uh, under different names? Well, they're free to go right now. They're released on own recognizance. If they're not back in a month, a warrant will be drawn for their arrest, and we can have that discussion. But right now, they're free to go wherever they want. Do you see a trend with assaults against pol police officers? Because we have video from Viral News NYC who actually... Um, they saw some of your police officers bloodied after the assault this weekend. Yeah, so we have a 20% increase in our cops being assaulted from 2022 to 2023. Uh, 2,200 of our cops assaulted or attempted to be assaulted. Why is this happening? The emboldenment, there's no consequences. You know, at this point, you touch a cop, you should go to jail. I mean, it's really that simple. But this is why it's happening. No consequences, and our cops are getting hurt out there. Unacceptable. Yeah, let's turn back. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was just going to say that that's the video from Viral News. Yes. Yeah, let's turn back okay. to the, the, the one caught on tape of the group of migrants attacking the two police officers in Times Square a couple of Fridays ago. Uh, District Attorney Alvin Bragg is going to present to a grand jury evidence that they should be charged with felonies. So far, he's taken a lot of heat for this. It seems to me that is not necessarily bail reform, but the execution of it, because all these charges, they were eligible to be held without bail, yet the prosecuting attorneys off the district attorney's office decided not to prosecute or bring evidence against yeah. them to hold them on bail. You were correct. It was bail eligible. Bail should have been set. The judge should have remanded also, but it didn't happen. But moving forward, we're going to work with our DA to, to make this right starting with Tuesday, and we'll just keep working together to make this system better and make it work. What can be done, you think, then? We need, we, need change, we need changes in the, in the bail reform. Even though it's just bail eligible, we need changes in bail reform. And one big thing that really hampers the DA's office is discovery. They are bogged down with so much discovery paperwork because they have to get it done in a short period of time. It's hurting their ability to prosecute. So we have to stop them practical discussions. Let's take a bad event. Let's make it into a good event. Let's get some practical people at the table for some practical solutions and move this city forward. Can we talk about migrant violence? Because a lot of people are very concerned. They're hearing more and more uh, about violence against the, the community, uh, against NYPD, and against themselves. What, what is going on? I, I heard that something happened overnight with the NYPD. Right. Migrant crime in the city is becoming an issue for us, whether it be robberies or purse snatches on bikes, human trafficking. Uh, mobs going to the stores. It's becoming a real issue. Over the weekend, we made a significant arrest with a couple of migrants doing uh, a couple of phone snatches. It was part of a big citywide pattern, 62 events of people get, women getting their pocketbooks and phone snatched. We made the arrest. We executed a search warrant this morning with a detective squad. Big impact on crime, this migrant Venezuelan crew that's preying on our city. We cannot have this anymore. We've got to stop it. So how do you stop it? Because they're being released back out after they do. And a lot of these people are known to you, right? I mean, they've been arrested before? Well, we could see the time frame when it all starts in May and June. If I tell you right now in this city this year, we have 32 moped patents. The patents two or more of the same crime. 32 patents on mopeds versus one last year. Mm. What's it? We know what the difference is. Last year alone, 92% increase on moped crimes all starting around April and May. It coincides when the migrants came in. And, and it's an issue. we got, we got to talk about it. And here it is right now, right in front of us. Is it concentrated in one area? I mean, because we keep hearing about Times Square in that area. It comes out of Times Square. It's affecting six out of seven, what we call patrol boats, four out of five boroughs in our city. It's, it's affecting. And, and it's a big problem. The other thing that I heard, and uh, maybe you can tell me if this is true or not, that some mothers have been selling their children at the shelters that that I'm not aware of it I can't I can't speak to that but when we have all these migrants in our city things are going to happen you know you hear for the American dream I think we all agree on that but we are not gonna let migrants or anybody else in the city commit crimes like this I don't care who you are it, it can't happen our community deserves better how many stops act I mean this was recently uh, passed by the City Council how does this now affect what you do 
I mean, you're, you're talking about arresting multiple people at a time. And then you have to talk to a bunch of people, I guess, to, to get to the bottom of this. We believe in the spirit of the bill, but we do not believe in the level one, which is not a stop. It's not based on suspicion. It's not accusatory. It's just an inquiry for information. Eight and a half, 8.5 million uh, calls for service last year. If you assume everybody's one, that's 8.5 million, an app that's not built with your thumbs or a piece of paper. It takes away from time and time is of the essence when you need to police. And speaking of time, we could go on and, and we have many questions for you, but I want, before you, uh, we have to wrap this up. You announced this week, or the NYPD announced, that uniform changes are coming and that officers should get ready for it. The police union has said, hey, we got bigger fish to fry right now. Why do this right now? Well, I think we got a little sloppy, okay? If you look professional, there's a term called impression management. If you look good and professional, it's a safety issue also and it looks good to our public. So I know where the union stands on this, but we're going to do it, it's going to get done. And but what we'll, about the religious Though Those are fine, we, we call those accommodations, okay. medical and religious, they stay, we don't touch those. Okay, so we're gonna look better, sharper, professional, and it'll keep us safer, believe it or not. You look good right now. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you like shaved. Exactly. He shaved this morning. I, mean, I could tell. Was, huh? my, could... my wife pressed her shirt. She made me shave. She took care of everything. <laughs> we'll, we'll give her credit for it. Thank you so much, Chief Patrol John Thank Shell. you.